Uh... Alright, I got your text. What's up? Uh... No, wait. Let me guess. You went to an after Valentine's Day sale. Uh huh. And bought the entire store out. Uh -huh. And then proceeded to devour the entire treasury's worth of chocolate in the span of three. Uh -huh. Two hours. That about right. <laughs> yep. And why, in Celestia's name, did nobody stop you? Where's your self-control? Uh, he... <coughs> in the... <coughs> bathroom. What? Heather, I need the toilet plunger. And more ginger ale. Oh, God. <sighs> what am I going to do with you two? Hello, my little subjects. Heather Blossom here, and who's the best princess? Yeah, duh. Me, and as the best and most amazing and altogether generous princess I am, I figured I should use my greatness today to help shed some light on another maybe not as impressive member of the royal family, Princess Cadence! Y'all know Cadence, the alicorn that popped out that other alicorn that's a baby, the crystal princess, some have said. The introduction of Cadence was met with a lot of controversy. She just kind of showed up when Finale has been in and out of the series since. She's the wife of Twilight's brother Shining Armor, the mother of Flurry Heart, the adoptive niece of Princess Celestia, and the leader of the Crystal Empire. And that is all we know about her. Seriously, that's about it. No, no, go ahead and try to tell me something about her that doesn't relate back to these four things. No, shut up, you can't. My show. Now, don't get me wrong, she has a personality, it's just very basic. She's a kind, strong, and, uh, nice lady. This is honestly kind of difficult, I'm really digging deep here. I like Cadence, I really do, I just, uh... Well, I guess I like the idea of Cadence. Let's take a look at that, actually. What is Cadence supposed to be, in my mind? Well, everything she already is, but something more. Someone who is strong but can be overwhelmed, who is kind but has limits, and who is loving but wants to be shown love. You know, wasn't love the key feature that they marketed to us about her? When we first heard of Cadence, it was about how she was a full sitter who was very talented at spreading love, and from what they demonstrated, it was romantic love. But again, when's the last time we've seen that? The Cadence I believe I've grown fond of is the fan interpretation. The shipper, the matchmaker, the nutty peeping Tom that's making sure your date is going perfectly. But in the show, outside of Canterlot Wedding, it feels like the writers have forgotten about that entirely. Now you could argue maybe that wasn't what they were going for, that they just embellished the romantic aspects for the plot of that finale, and there was that deleted scene from the LLP movie that mentioned she was the alicorn of family, and to that I say, look at her name. No, not Cadence, her real name, Mia More Cadenza. This name is like Latin Italian or some crap that roughly translates to My Love Cadence or I Love Cadence. So when they gave her some schmancy fancy name, they had loving aspects in mind. This is the alicorn of love by design, and you can't tell me different. And outside of having a baby and mothering it maybe a few times on screen, what has she done to personify family and motherhood? I'm sorry, I know being a real normal mother is hard, but millions of women do it all the time. So to be personification of it, you should be doing a bit more. Now, it's not like they haven't tried making her a little deep. There's actually an installment of the comics where they tackle the very issue of Princess Cadence being the token pretty princess. Which I enjoyed because we saw how devastated that left her. It gave me the side of Cadence I wanted, someone who wants to do good things and be respected for them, not riding off of superficial judgments. But the whole conflict basically boils down to this. My subjects don't respect me. They just think of me as a happy and pretty princess. Woe is me. But, but Cadence, they like you because you're happy and pretty. <sighs> yeah, I didn't really strike a chord with that conclusion there. Now we do get a bit more of Cadence's romantic side in the Nay Anything arc, but she shares the spotlight with Shining Armor, and honestly, he seems more like the royalty of romance in this installment. He's the one putting forth all the effort along with his friends to secure the princess's heart. Hell, Twilight Sparkle, who's like 10 or something, and this contributes a bit more. With graphs! All Cadence does is declare to love Shining Armor, then almost immediately back down after a misunderstanding. She gets it together at the end, but overall Shining Armor's the one who received more personality in this comic. 
There is one tiny thing in written format that explored more of Cadence, but it was only a small excerpt from the book series entitled The Crystal Heart Spell. All it entailed was a brief summary of Cadence's backstory in being a Pegasus who overcame an evil enchantress that had to take it over her adopted village. That didn't really give us much, I mean, shielding the Crystal Empire was more impressive than whatever that was. At the very least, though, it gave us some fanfic opportunities. Since the official engine hasn't done much with her, the fanner can basically pick her up and do next to anything with her, and most of it will fit. Though I suppose I've already expressed how much I love that. From fanfics to comics, it's just a good time overall to have someone who can be representative to that niche of the fandom. You know the part I'm talking about, the kooky ones that sometimes you gotta tread carefully around when mentioning romantic elements. In other words, this chick. It's kinda disappointing how little there is on Cadence to cover, but this series ain't over yet, so hopefully there's more of this pink milf to come. So until then, I'm Heather Blossom, and <clears throat> oh, oh, I need some ginger ale. Happy met this pony yet? Don't forget her. Isn't she the loveliest elicorn in sight? Another mare could not compare to this heir to the throne, Princess Cadence. Mia More Cadenza. That's right. Have you seen this drama queen?